Hello, great to have you with us. We're really getting down to the tension-packed part of this World Cup. We're at the quarter-final stage. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me here on the commentary position is Stuart Robson. And no shortage of excitement here. We're thoroughly looking forward to this one. It's Morocco up against Portugal. Well, this has the makings of a very good game. Two sides full of quality, a great atmosphere and everything to play for. The last four places up for grabs here. And here's how Morocco will line up. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio stands between the posts. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. And so the match is underway. Ronaldo going for the dink will he finish oh marvellous save great goalkeeping and he takes it away Portugal pushing forward with options available very much run of the mill as saves go Buffon Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. And the course goes in. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Sofian Buffal. Moving it forward. And that was simply miles off target. Well, I think he's right to go for power, but he's made the wrong connection, and it's really poor technique in the end. Chair. Buffal. Speculative effort. And that's a straightforward stop. And take it away. And the goal kick it'll be. Too much height on the shot. Ronaldo. Well, putting it wide from there. A pity, really. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. And a fine stop. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, far from the ideal header. And the goalkeeper had it all the way. Firing it towards goal! 
And the referee says corner kick. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. And clears his lines. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Well, a good tackle. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. And they know they need to stop him. Crossed into the penalty area. And they got into that crossing position, but dealt with defensively. Showing teamwork and commitment. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Well, they might be onto something. Defended well. Yusuf and Nesiri. It is a decent looking attack here. Can he finish? Oh, his eyes lit up, thinking it was about to be the opener. Well, just the lack of composure. He should score there. And a substitution in the offing. Unable to keep the ball. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Fernand. And the keeper there to deal with it. Over it comes. Well, oh, sadly, too straight to worry the goalkeeper that time. Well, those stats really do tell you everything. So many chances, but yet so little end product. At some point, though, you sense they're going to get the breakthrough. And now they need to put in the effort to win the ball back. Being egged on by the crowd, and the keeper more than equal to the task. Now the teams are locked together. Will it stay that way following this corner? Delivering it. Joao Cancelo couldn't hang on to it. And Nesiri. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Can they take advantage of the situation? Must take the lead here. What a block. Chair and Nesiri. Good effort here. Didn't fall the keeper. And now the delivery. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in and a useful cross. take the lead and it's in 1-0 they breach the defence well here's the replay and you can see why the manager is furious it's just really poor play offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area and at this level if you keep doing that you're going to get punished it's just not good enough moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be Bruno Fernandes 
Ronaldo. Good use of advantage by the referee. Well, a long-distance effort and a highly respectable one, Stuart. Well, he surprised everybody, including me. It's a decent effort, you have to say. Yusuf and Nesiri. A real opening now. And this one's at home. A second time around, he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one, but they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. <laughs> 2 0 here, and the ball is moving again. Ruben Neves. Here's Ronaldo. Bernardo Silva sliding it through. The end product just wasn't there. And he has options available. And nicely struck. Well, I must admit, it didn't trouble the keeper to the extent that I thought it might. Bruno Fernandes. Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes has it. Oh, at one point on its flight, it looked as though it might be going in. Well, he wasn't afraid to have a go, was he? And you can see why. That was so close to being a great goal. Chair. And just wide of a target, goal kick. Well, I think the goalkeeper had it covered, but it was a decent effort, though. <laughs> so, the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. And back underway, there can be no denying it. There was a big gulf between the sides in the first half. Will we see a response from Portugal in the second? Amala. Can they hit on the break? Now he must favour the cross. Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. And giving the ball away. And now having a go! Body in the way. The corner played into the box. Oh, cleared off the line. Alert defending. Ronaldo. Firing it towards goal. Well, the goalkeeper in charge of the situation. Well, for good measure, we can see it again, but clearly not over the line. Can be no debate over that decision. Delivering it. It might still be problematic. Blocking it. Or oh, covering up defensively. Over it comes. Struggling to get it away. 
But it can be a bit of a hit or a miss when you try to catch the ball in that manner. Well, it's a difficult skill, and on this occasion, he can't quite pull it off. Just didn't hit it cleanly enough. Take it away. Bruno Fernandes. And it's fallen for Ronaldo. And the keeper stretching to deny him. He's driven in the corner. And possession lost, intercepted. They've lost it. Munir. A chance to whip it in. Well, we're into the final half hour. Ronaldo. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. And Portugal with the ball again. Considerable momentum, courtesy of Ronaldo. But what can he produce from here? Well, it smacks into the gloves of the goalkeeper. Perfect tackle. Chances on. Well, it was down to whether or not he could beat the keeper. And that question has been answered. Well, I'm all for players striking through the back of the ball with power. But he has to hit the target from there. Substitution time it is here. In with a chance! Well, that looked to be quite dangerous, but just a fraction off. Hakimi. Munir. Decent effort there. Well, he has such good technique. He really did hit that well. He certainly came close there. Now, who can he play it to? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Diogo Jota. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Can't miss, surely! Oh, that's a fine save. Time for a change then. And he's fired over the corner. Well, they weren't able to capitalise. Diogo Jota. André Silva with it. And he stopped them in their tracks. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. But on the crowd, they want to see him take on the shot. Oh, the referee points to the spot. Penalty. Well, he's also showing him the yellow card. Yeah, he had to make the challenge, but it was always going to be risky, and so it proved. Can they make it 3-0? And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him.
Well, as you can see, the keeper makes no effort in the end. He was hoping it would be struck down the middle, but it's an easy finish, really. Three goals without reply. Chair able to skip past his man. Now keeper getting both gloves on the ball. Now there to intercept. And support available. Andres Silva. Oh, he's gone for goal. Keeper getting the touch. And off the post. And he did what he had to do defensively. Retaining possession, proving difficult. Oh, managing to beat him. It's there for him. Well, a nearly moment just over the top. Bad pass. Munir, good looking cross. Well, negligent in front of goal. No two ways about that. Oh, they've lost it. Munir. And teammates around him. Played into the box. Well, no damage done. Five minutes to go. The defender put in the challenge, and it might be a red card. And the referee didn't have much choice. A sending off it is. Yeah, no complaints there. That's a sending off all day long. Fernandes, Bruno Fernandes, and the keeper more than equal to it. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Fernando Silva, and well, the danger is still there. Precision and style, superbly done. Well, here it is again, and the clearance just isn't good enough. Giving up possession in a dangerous area, just poor defending all round. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. And beating the defender. Well, tremendous block. And very deftly cut out. Guerrero. Well, he gave it quite the blast, but nowhere close to the goal. Munir. A danger here as he runs at them. Whistle is sounded. Progression is assured. They'll be taking part in the semi-finals. Well, going forward, that was an impressive display. They played with good wit. They looked to get the ball forward early, and there were some outstanding individual performances. 
they'll certainly go into the next round full of confidence well there's a good reason why we're highlighting him really dominant in attack in this game Stuart well he certainly played his part in the win today both with his penalty and general play I thought he was a constant threat throughout the game